First rule of writing is hoard notebooks. The second rule of writing is we do not write in our notebook hoard. So it is written. Just not in any of the notebooks. Pulling out an earbud when someone enters the room is the 21st century's ultimate sign of respect. It's the modern equivalent of taking off your hat. You just do it. I want that heat miser's head on a pike! Gotcha covered. Alright, well, <clears throat> you did follow the instructions given? <laughs> My favorite video game quest trope is, Help us, they're stealing our ancient artifact! Thank you for helping us! As a reward, you may have our ancient artifact! The ancient artifact was less important than having agency in its distribution. Nothing is more important than keeping it out of the hands of the British Museum. But you also just gave it to a dude who's likely gonna sell it to buy the sword he wants. Just saying. Animorphs say you where every time they morph they do a Magical Girl style elaborate transformation sequence. And a Magical Girl series where every time they transform they do the horrific Animorphs morph. I need this. Especially since there's a new Tokyo Mew Mew coming out, I kinda wanna see this be the transformation sequence. Turning William Afton into a sexy man, then slowly switching over to Michael Afton is the biggest redemption arc Tumblr has ever went through. Andy, I apologize for all the cringe I'm gonna say in advance because of all the knowledge I have for this series. Okay. Alarm! Tumblr, you gonna look me in the eye and say you had a child murderer as a sexy man, and then you switched over to his son, who is, and I quote, a purple, boneless, organless husk, because his guts got scooped out by the haunted animatronics that the first guy killed. And not only that, I've seen you, Twitter. I've seen you. You're shrimping over Vanny, who is also, and I quote, a child abductor and murderer. I actually had to add this in in the middle of the video. Okay, I also know I'm gonna, probably going to get a comment that's going to say, Well, Vanny's actually possessed by William Afton, so technically she's not the one murdering the kids. It's still fucking weird. Okay? Okay. You doing okay? I'm going to lose, like, probably half of my subscribers over that. Whatever. Pokemon trainer that shouts, GET HIS ASS, every time they order their Pokemon to attack. <laughs> That's me, I'm the guy. Oh, Gender reveal came back negative. I just exist now. Sweet. I eat 15 apples for breakfast, then drive myself to the hospital just to watch the doctors get blasted backwards in the drywall, because they cannot withstand my aura. Yeah, I'm gonna watch Doctor Who in chronological order by the time period they travel in. That is the worst idea I've ever heard. I love it. Yo, why are you tagging things Alcoholics Anonymous? <laughs> Ace Attorney? I don't know what little cat needs to hear this, but it is not dinner time. You are not going to starve, and it'll be okay. And I just told that to Piff, and uh, she looked at me like I was a fucking liar. Being able to teleport must suck ass when you have ADHD. Why the fuck am I in Nevada? You don't need drugs to have a good time. Do you expect me to believe that drugs were not involved here? Like, <laughs> look at the person on the right's face. <laughs> that is, there's definitely drugs in that system right now. No offense to the people on this site, but what the fuck is wrong with everybody? So many things, Drizzling Tears. So many things. Conspiracy theory. All the school kids know Zim is an alien, but Dib's so annoying and full of himself about it that they pretend to be clueless to piss him off. You. You get it. I want this to be canon now. Why is it not? Oh! Well, unfortunately, I didn't end it on a scream, so I'm gonna have to fix that with the thing that we do, Andy. Are you ready? I really don't know how to end this. <laughs> so I'm just whatever the whatever the noise is I make just we'll just end it there.